Welcome guys, Tone here, and today we're going to be playing some Golden Crone Hotel. And we're going to take a week, uh, look at this week's weekly challenge. Now we're playing version 1.7, and technically this is like the beta test branch. So this is like a new feature of the beta test, this is the weekly challenge. And how it works is you get a random disguise out of all the normal disguises every week. And every other week you get like a random disguise called the Challenger, I believe. Um, that has random stats and inventory, which is pretty cool. Um, so this is a, a fun option that has a lot of replayability and has its own leaderboard and it, it's all played in the same seed so it's the same experience for everyone you can only attempt it once every week um, so that is very cool and we're on the like the beta test branch for version 1.7 um, it should be released pretty soon here actually it might be released by the time i upload this video um, this is after a bunch of things were fixed balance few minor bugs and things like that from the original um, beta release. So it should be pretty cleaned up and polished. Now, one thing that is new with the weekly is these arc enemies. Um, so there's three random enemy types every game. They're just stronger than normal. So we have the Elder Green Man, the Noble, and the Steel Demon. Um, you don't see Elder Green Man early. You don't see Steel Demons unless you go in the underworld. Nobles are terrifying normally by the time you start seeing them. So that is something we're very concerned about. And I may just try to play a lot of the mid and late game as a vampire, just so those are friendly to us. I definitely don't want to have to deal with them. Now, the Revenant is a class I've actually never played before. This is added in the last big update um, almost a year ago. Um, but I haven't really, I haven't played them yet. And they're probably the most unique class in the game. The special here, no regen, no hunger, and no blood heal. Instead, potions give HP and MP. So they don't regain health passively everything is permanent um and you drink potions to restore everything um, and i believe they don't lose health in vampire form either so that's pretty nice i'm not sure if they have hunger or not they're like uh some kind of ghost or zombie or, or something some kind of undead that does not have uh corporal healing but yeah that changes like everything about the game um it means we don't want to take combat because that chip damage is really going to add up if we can help it um, i mean like normally you're going to heal between fights by resting as a human you're basically just trading your vampire clock and your nutrition whereas a vampire you're going to slurp up blood after fights let's say topped off but we can't do that um, we have to use potions so that makes hp a really interesting resource and i i've never played this before this is kind of like a blind run <laughs> with this species um or this disguise and it'll be interesting because I haven't really strategized around it too much. Um, I'm just going to be kind of guessing what works for them. Another thing that's neat about the weeklies is normally when I play this game, I'm not really considering like beating this specific seed. I just I mess around a bit and have fun. Um, and I played the last week's weekly and I got into a lot of hard situations. And instead of taking risks that I would normally would have taken, I was like being super conservative because it was my only chance to play through that encounter. And through that seed um so i was just more careful than normal which was an interesting way to play the game because that's really normally not how i i do it are we a vampire right now no we're not um, i can tell because my vamp meter is not full so i assume we need the torches for it to see yeah okay oh this is cool too this just got added every potion there's a bunch of unique ones so they all don't look the same i really like the, the extra polish that that adds and we start with an Aether Potion, strongly increased physical resistance, but decreases all others, and a Blinding Potion, removes our sight temporarily. Um, it, I like the Blinding Potion, because it gives us health, but like it makes us blind, which is a kind of neat trade-off. I'm wondering if we want to just turn into a vampire right away. Actually, no. Uh, I think I want to stay human, so I can fight vampires using sunlight instead of getting hit. I think that'll be pretty strong here. All right, I'm gonna see. Sometimes, a lot of times, enemies get extra moves. All right, so we only suffered three damage there. So I'm probably gonna be kiting enemies a lot more than I normally would. It's currently daylight out. Pop our heads up here and just see if there's any sunlight we can take advantage of.
Okay, there's nothing shown on hunger, so I don't think we have a hunger clock. That's interesting, if that is the case. That's really interesting if that's the case, because I can spend as much time as I want. I'll turn into a vampire eventually, so I guess that's a flaw. Um, but I could really, you know, take advantage of the day cycle if I want to wait. All right. That's what I'm trying to do right now. I want to see if we can get some kills using the daylight. Uh, B, I'm actually just going to shoot the B. I have a feeling their poison would do a lot of damage to us right now. That is not something I want to deal with. All right, select the spell to learn. So we don't we don't regen mana either. Now having a range spell would be pretty nice because we won't take damage, but we will spend mana. I think charm could be pretty interesting with this too, because then we have allies to tank for us. Hmm, it's an interesting decision. I guess Charm does take one enemy off the table, and then it lets them tank for us. Focus is so strong, though. I'm, I'm not going to be doing much spell casting, though. I'm not going to be like, cranking intelligence. I'm going to mess with Charm, I think. All right, let's see if I can just lure this guy into the sunlight. Cool. Any other vampires we can do that with? Oh, that was it. Oh, this <laughs> the variants can be pretty brutal. I wonder how long I can go before I have to heal. It's night. No more sunlight to take advantage of. Oh, and there's a vampire hiding up here the whole time? That's too bad. I guess we're actually going to have to fight him. Cool, one shot him. So strength gives us damage reduction, uh, resistance, and dexterity makes enemies miss more. I like dexterity more overall, but strength would be like a less variance kind of thing. Strength is also going to be pretty good in vampire form, which is what we're going to want to be, I think, for a lot of the game once the noble starts showing up. I'm going to go with dex for now, and then I think I'm going to start raising strength at, to 13. Hmm. Let's take Tempest. I don't think we ever finished exploring the first level. Oof. Okay. Now we need to heal. I just use Aether. Strongly increases physical resistance, but decreases all others. I kind of want to see a blinding potion for the the Gorgon Queen fight. It means you can't get stoned by gaze. Little niche use of that. That's pretty nice. A volatile potion might kill me right now. Silence is pretty valuable. This row, I don't mean mind testing just to to see what it is and to heal. I think I'd, re I'd like to save Soul Elixir and Blood. Okay, that was Blink. Cool. Probably like the least useful of those. Oh, there's, another, there's another vampire here. <laughs> Let's see if I can kill him quickly. Indeed we could. Oh shoot, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, that could have been worse if we got sandwiched. 
I had to take many hits. Nice. That <laughs> that sound got added recently. Cause I commented that everything else had a sound except for bullets now. This update added sounds for picking up equipment and, and everything. Alright. Um is there anything else to pick up? I see some green stuff. Is that just blood? I know it's like a plate armor or something. Alright, let's go up. Okay, here's a room where we can definitely take advantage of sunlight. Okay, I pulled him down just because of that chance that I would get stunned. I don't want to get stunned next to the golem. Oof. Alright, we definitely need to heal here. Another gluggy potion. I think we just use this Aether to heal. Although... The Aether makes me vulnerable to sunlight. And I was about to kite up there to fight this guy. Whoops. Oh my god. I just hit uh, the wrong button and accidentally moved. If I moved in the goal, we would have died. We'll just try one of these. Okay, so that was a soul elixir. Oh, the golem can't see me now. I we can charm both of these wolves. We were able to charm one of them. Uh, okay, let's start raising our strength. Although we're not going to turn into a vampire as quickly anymore. I can just wait out the timer and turn into a vampire whenever I want. Let's get one more dex. So we used 10 of our mana doing that as well. Or no, we used 8. I just... Okay, and I leveled up. There's a discrepancy there. We found the menagerie. I actually don't know how to say that. I have no idea if I've been pronouncing that correctly or not. Now, there's an incentive. The leaderboards for the weekly are score-based, time-based, which, since I'm doing commentary here, we're probably not going to do well in time. Because I'd be playing a lot faster instead of like talking to you right now. Um, and also turn count based. And then turn count actually weighs is a pretty reasonable factor into the score as well. So turns are important. This branch doesn't give us any rings, so we don't need that to finish the game and get like a max score. Now it gives us a lot of potions actually. This basically re replaces the, the hedge maze and the hive. The hive was like a place where you went to get food. Now it's got a an ice house that has a lot of ale in it. That's actually really good for us. A ton of ale potions would be amazing. So maybe we do go down there. But I think in general with these weeklies, this and the, the hive slash hedge mage, maze are probably best skipped. If you, can, if you can help it. There's times where you just might need the food. Oh, there's a hawker. Oh, wow. Aether is expensive. I didn't realize that. How much money do I have? 92? These will all cut in half if we turn into a vampire. We definitely want to like load up on potions from a hawker. I want to move down so she doesn't die. She won't take damage if she's off screen. All right, and then we actually want to go upstairs. Our wolf is fully healed again. We might be able to take strong advantage of this, this wolf if we play smart. Okay, let's... Can't hit him from here. Oh no. Sorry, wolf. Wait. 
This guy doesn't blow up on the wolf. Dang, I thought I'd kill this guy. I think he drank blood the same turn. Now he's at full health. Oh, and the sunlight just went away. How annoying is that? All right, I'm gonna pull this guy one deeper into the corridor. That way he can only spawn two baby spiders. That's new too. Um, that enemies will swap places with neutrals. Otherwise she would have blocked him permanently and I could have just ran off. Okay, I need to drink another potion. And actually this guy's only gonna spawn one spider now because that's the only adjacent tile it has. Or it's not even adjacent, it's just a tile he's on. It's kind of ideal. I don't want to hit Deceleration with Poison. Actually, being Poison right now really sucks. I think this is the potion I'm going to try using. What was it? It was an Ale. Cool. Oh, actually, I can tame the Wolf Spider. Check this out. Oh, I didn't get it. Okay, well that backfired. Something else that's new is if you have a tame wolf spider, then these would become tame too. She was really low health too. So I thought I was going to get it because I think it's health based. Um, I guess we just didn't get it that time. That's unfortunate. And the rat died, like, immediately. Oh god, another one of these? Alright, I'm gonna start raising my strength. <clears throat> another hawker. No potions, that's unfortunate. A lot of spell books, but I don't know how much we care about spell books. Well, there's an Aether potion, but I'm not gonna pay a thousand for one of those. That Hawker's not that great for us, actually. Might have to drink an Aether soon to heal. At 22 bullets. I could fight a lot of stuff with that. I think we should heal before fighting these guys and maybe try to charm them again. Problem is, two of my potions could kill me. <laughs> I need to find primers to identify those. Should probably try this one. Still think saving blinding for the Gorgon Queen would be good. I don't know what I'm saving either for, honestly. Another boss fight might be helpful to have that. Revealing Essence. Cool, so that's our magic mapping. Nice, we charmed both wolves. Hmm. Fighting two enemies at once. Okay, they're gonna fight them no matter what. I better go help. Ugh. That was unfortunate. I guess they... I mean, we basically didn't have to fight those wolves, which is nice. I was hoping to get more value out of them, though. Rado? You can get potions in the gr Oh, shoot. I landed on an alligator in water? That's very bad. I guess that's a crocodile. They're very strong in water. That thing can probably kill me. 
Like, even out of water. I think I can run away from it. Because it's slow out of water. Alright, I see on the map two green tiles. I'm assuming those are blood. I think we just leave this floor. Come back later. Okay, got another soul elixir. Another blink potion. Ooh, these guys are kind of annoying to fight. Or if I can charm him. Nice. Rat assassins are kind of strong. At least against the player. We'll see how they fare against other monsters. Wreck that frog. Greenhouse. We know where that branch is. I'd still like to not get poisoned, I think. Let's just shoot the bees. Can I do that? Nice. Oh, I wanted to help. Oh well, that's your fight, buddy. Did you leave the stump? You fool! Let's turn into mushrooms. I would like to avoid any additional attrition from that. Okay, night time. Okay, we full explored this map. What's our potion situation look like? Okay, so ale is just a healing potion. I guess all food is just a healing potion on this speed or this disguise. Blink potion's like just a pretty decent healing potion, and I don't think blinking is incredibly useful in potion form. Um, mana potion just gives us mana and extra mana if it being a potion and heals. That's nice. And this is Bounty or Quick, which is probably a good one to drink for for potion heals. Alright, we're on level 4. Let's keep going up. Things are going to be getting pretty dangerous. I'm cur I am curious what branches on the next floor. Pharmacopia would be really nice. Thing full of potions. Got to bring our rat. Oh, well, 33 damage crit. Our rat, well, that could have happened either way. I wasn't sure if he was going to prioritize me or the rat. I wanted to kite him, but the rat didn't want to do that. So I just moved back in because I felt like it would be better to kill him and let the rat stay around. How much health did I have? I I wonder if I should have healed before engaging him. Crits make this roll... Um, you almost want to be at like full health all the time <laughs> against mon enemies like that. Because there's so much variance um, to criticals. That's interesting. I'm going to have to consider that. Thirty-three damage. I think my max health was only around sixty. I'll have to double check. I could be way off on that. Maybe it was like higher. But I didn't want to like waste my potion, so I wasn't trying to like drink one at that point. But if you have to consider criticals and if you're trying to be like super conservative, like that was like a really low probability hit. Well, that was fun. I'm gonna have to play Revenant for real next time. Now that I've had a little taste of it, we didn't even get to turn into vampire form. 
That's a fun quirk. There's special disguise ability though, not healing and healing on potions to, to play around. I thought we were just starting to get some, have some real fun there with that charm and that rat assassin looked like he was going to do some work. He might have been able to kill that golem on his own. But that's the weekly. I, I can't play it again. <laughs> um, I wonder if we can take a look at our morgue real quick. We need like a recent, recent games at the top or something. Yeah, I had 65 health and I took 33 damage. Early on, we had to be really conservative with our potions, especially having the the two off or the negative potions that would have killed us if we used them at low health. It looked like we were starting to like pick up potions and like get like a pretty strong stockpile. I wonder if we should have just started drinking potions and staying at full health all the time instead of at like two thirds health or whatever all the time, especially because with the hawkers, I, w I wanted to go down and buy a bunch of potions from a hawker. Once I turn into a vampire, if you could like clear out like two hawkers with the potions, you'd probably be good for a while. I don't know, it's something to think about. I probably played a little too greedy there. The transition from like having like almost no potions to clearing that last floor and getting a few more and like having some potions to, to be a little comfortable with was quite sudden there. And I don't think I adjusted the way I should have. And I should account for those, the variance of those criticals. Well, that's the weekly. That was fun. Um, I hope you guys, you know what, I should upload these videos after the weekly so people can't like, I don't want to say cheat, but um, watch these first isn't really in the spirit of the competition. But um, yeah, <laughs> that's all it is. Um, fun times. I'll probably keep doing these. I enjoyed doing the weekly last week. I did a Discord stream for it, um, which I'm experimenting more and more with for like little shorter things or more casual things and my Twitch streams that I do every week. Which usually longer and more, I don't want to say formal, but more professional. Um, but yeah, um, speaking of that, links below has the the Discord channel. And if you have any feedback, if you liked seeing this and you want to see more weeklies and more Golden Crown Hotel content on the, the channel, definitely let me know below. And until next time, I am out. Thanks, guys.